tourism has become one of the fastest growing sectors of the world economy and today Nigeria joins the rest of the world in marking the 2021 World Tourism Day, a day set aside by the United Nations since the 1980s to raise awareness on the role of tourism and how it affects social, political and cultural values worldwide. Now, despite the several ter uh, tourist destinations in Nigeria and the sector's immense potential, the country's tourism has suffered great neglect. Now, joining us on News Now to further give an assessment of Nigeria's tourism sector is Adeda Molaido, the Managing Director and CEO of Iriajo, an online-based tourism organization. Thank you very much, Damola, for joining us on News Now. Now, how crucial, just how crucial is tourism for the world and for Nigeria as a country? Will you say we've tapped into the potential of the tourism sector? Hello, good evening, and thank you for having me. Um, talking about how crucial tourism is for the world, um, in 2019, the tourism industry contributed uh, about 10.3% of global GDP, which amounted to um, about um, $8.9 trillion. So that shows how significant uh, tourism is to world economy. It's a very, very important sector. Talking about how um, uh, tourism has been impactful on Nigeria or how uh, has Nigeria been able to scratch you know, that uh, potential, um, I can tell you categorically that Nigeria has not been able to scratch, uh, you know, um, even a percentage of uh, the tourism potential that can actually create jobs um, to um, our youth and, of course, uh, the, the very uh, many people who are unemployed. So um, I think uh, this gives us an opportunity to actually reevaluate our step. Um, I I'm not sure we, we are where we were um, the previous year, but then the pace at which we are moving is not very encouraging. But then I can of course, uh, say that Nigeria has not tapped um, the potential of the vast tourism industry that is making, um, you know, positive strides in, um, you know, other, uh, other parts of the world. And we see that a lot of Nigerians jet out of the country for tours annually. And in many cases, some of the tourist attractions that we seek abroad are also present here in the country. Now, is there a particular reason for this trend and how to increase capacity in our tourism sector? So uh, one of the reasons, uh, one of the reasons why went out, uh, you know, to other countries for tourism is that, uh, of course, it's not far-fetched. Um, security is a major challenge. People are actually very scared to, uh, you know, visit places that are so far away from their homes. So um, if security is not uh, well handled, you can uh, be rest assured that it's going to have a negative impact on tourism. Of course, um, lack of um, infrastructure as well. How good are our roads? These are also contributing factors to why you see Nigerians jet out every now and then to other countries to go and spend their, uh, you know, added money. So uh, one of the things I think the government can do for us is, uh, you know, um, hand over some of these tourism destinations to the private sector. Tourism in developed countries actually and majorly driven by the, uh, by the, pri by the private sector. If uh, we are able to achieve this, you know, government has a uh, fewer things, uh, you know, to focus on government will just focus on you know doing uh what's it called um formulating policies that actually support the industry then of course support with our uh, basic infrastructural development if we don't do this if we have governments running the uh tourism destinations and you know uh, and what a view uh we won't be making a um, very positive impact uh, in in years to come so um these are just some of the um ideas uh, which government can actually borrow to ensure that uh, tourism thrives uh, because uh, if we spend those dollars in here in our economy, we know how far um, the, what's it called, um, it's, it's going to positively impact our own economy. So we we'll only continue Quite to correct. plug Thank up. you very much, uh, Adedamola uh, Idowu, the MD CEO of Iriajo. Thank you very much for joining us on News Now.